Welcome Scorpios. I'm the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys today. I'm burning some sage to kind of cleanse the energy from my previous read. And we're going to get started. All right. I hope you guys are doing well with all this madness that's going on right now. I hope you guys are doing well, okay? Make sure y'all taking the proper precautions. Make sure y'all stocking up y'all homes um, with all of the things that you need because things are selling out quickly. Like there's rarely any food or, you know, household items and, and things of that nature. Things is just kind of getting a little crazy, okay? So with that being said, if you um, would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, my contact information is redivinetarotempress at gmail.com. I'll put that information in the description box below. And all readings are currently $44.44, okay? Originally $67, okay? So it's a huge discount that I'm doing right now for the month of March, okay? And it comes with, a, it's a full detailed reading, and it also comes with an additional free bonus question guys yes or no question okay it has to be a yes or no question for your bonus question um and it is for free okay so book now i only do a certain amount of slots per day just because it's just a lot going on and i don't want to book a lot of readings and then i have to go back and postpone them and things of that nature so i only do a certain amount per day Okay, so reach out to me via email and I can get you set up. If I can't get you set up um, within the next 24 to 48 hours, it will be like within the next few days, okay? All right, so let's get into it, Scorpios. What message is there for my Scorpios? Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Angels, ancestors, God is reading. Give me the most accurate information for my Scorpios, please. Give me past, present, and future energy, please. Okay. I feel like this is in regards to a relationship that possibly went sour, okay? I feel like you are having, you know, a little bit of stress or worries about a relationship. Maybe there has been like a breakup that you've been trying to heal from, okay, a separation. Some of you may be, you know, um, are separated from this person or have been separated from this person for a while. But this, like, this person still is possibly like on your mind, okay? I feel like you want to start over. I feel like the chapter was closed on a toxic situation and you're starting over, but I feel like you're still healing or trying to heal from a relationship, okay? Because we got the Three of Swords and the Temperance, okay? Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, um, but I'm just getting like, there's still some worry about this relationship, where it stands, where what's going on with this relationship. I feel like you guys may have been flirting. There have, you know, there was some flirting communication going on here. Um, we got the Page of Cups in the past. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Why is the Page of Cups here for past energy? Yeah. Ace of Cups. Lots of water energy, which is you guys' energy as well. But there has been like an opening of emotions. Like there's been an overflow of emotions. Okay, finally. You finally get got that overflow of emotions. Is it someone was communicating with you how they feel or you were communicating with them? Yeah, somebody's been spying. You've been watching someone or someone has been watching you as well. I feel like you got your eye on somebody, okay? Someone's pushing someone away. We got the Empress. This could be like a baby mother or something to that nature. Some other woman, okay? This is like um, kind of pushing someone away. You could be dealing with a Leo. But I'm getting like there was this vibe that you had, okay, in the past. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I 
okay? There's this urge, okay? You, you've been feeling this urge to express yourself to this person, okay? Kind of to get this off of your chest. I feel like you need to get something off of your chest in the past, okay? Currently, we got the five of pentacles in reverse, okay? So, it looks like you're coming out of a bad situation. It looks like you may have possibly had financial strain or some type of... Um, some type of issue, some type of some type of burden or strain. It could be financially because I got the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So there's like been this on again, off again energy here. Maybe you were feeling rejected or left out in the cold in some way, shape, or form. Okay. But I'm sensing there's a lot of back and forth. Okay. There's a lot of um here and there type energy okay i feel like some of you are trying to make some changes there could have been some changes at work okay i'm getting like a change of schedule maybe you feel like you're kind of all over the place a little bit for some of you guys i'm picking that up like there's been a change in schedules at work okay moving ahead we got the eight of pentacles in reverse yeah see this two of cups came right back out yeah see you want to rekindle something with somebody a relationship with someone here even though this eight of pentacles and the two of cups is in the reverse i feel like that's just telling me you know where this has come from um someone was most definitely like not full-fledged putting that that full-fledged effort in uh but now i feel like somebody does want to wants a fresh start okay if somebody wants to start this relationship somebody wants to start fresh somebody wants to start over okay but maybe you were waiting to see if this person was going to move on or if they've moved on. But I feel like you you want to give this thing another shot, okay? I feel like you want to give this another shot. Dang it, I don't have my pendulum. I didn't bring my pendulum in here. I should have brought my pendulum in here. All right, so I want to see how they feel about you, Scorpio. Let's do it really quick. I'm just going to pull one card. How do they feel about Scorpio? Okay, we got the Eight of Cups, okay? We got the Eight of Cups, so they could feel as if you have, you know, kind of disappeared. You walked out, you left, okay? Let me pull another, because the Eight of Cups is saying, you know, someone walked away, left. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of swords, lots of eights here, eight, eight. Some of you may have been seeing the number eight, eight, eight. Okay, I'm getting someone, they feel like you, I'm sorry if you hear this creaking noise, but I feel like someone is, they feel like you are in your head a lot, okay? And they also feel like maybe you're afraid, you got afraid and you backed off, okay? So... Okay, so they feel as if when it's time for a commitment or some type of, when it's time for some type of commitment, they feel like you're afraid of it and you walk off, you leave, you left, okay? When it was time to um, put down something firm and make some type of commitment because we got the Hierophant in reverse and the Hermit upright. Okay, so they could be looking for some type of commitment, but they feel like you, you know, you may not really want to take it fully there. Okay, let's get, um, I don't know if I said it, but some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo because I have the Hermit card there as well. Let's get some advice from the Angels. Some of you guys um, have been improving or feel the need to improve your health, okay? Something is saying don't stop improving health, okay? So for a lot of you guys, 
Some of you guys need to focus on your health, okay? Make sure that you're eating right. Make sure that you're thinking properly. Mental health, emotional health, um, physical health. But I'm getting like so, a lot of you guys are like, are focused and zoomed in on your health. And if you are, angels are saying don't stop. Don't give up, okay? Don't give up, okay? I'm also picking up too that there may be forgiveness on the table. Let me see what other... Big happy changes. Look at that. Big happy changes, okay? I feel like a peaceful resolution is getting ready to come to you in this situation. But I do also have to say that right now may not be the right moment. I feel like for a lot of you guys, and this is for a certain, I don't feel like every Scorpio is, you know, dealing with health issues or, you know, is focused in on their health. But I feel like for a good percentage of people, you guys are focused um, on your health or you need to focus more on your health, okay? You need to take be taking care of yourself, okay? Because some of you guys, this is a big change for you. I do feel like there's some type of shift um, for Scorpios. But I do want to let you know that the situation that may have be causing you some type of, you know, anxiety about a relationship, a peaceful re resolution is, is, you know, haveable, you know, attainable. But right now may not be the right, the right time, okay? You have to look for a sign before you take action, okay? And take action was actually in the reverse. So it's not the right time to take action, Okay, I feel like give it a little bit of time, okay? And when you do, you have to communicate clearly when you're ready, okay? When you're ready, it's, it's going to be definitely clear, concise communication about what it is that you want so that you get what you want and it comes to you, okay? So, for a lot of you guys, it's time to focus on you getting in shape, getting your mind together, getting your thoughts together, getting whatever it is. But I feel like it's something in regards to health, okay? For some of you, you may need to eat more healthier. You may need, there are certain little habits. Um, you know, just concentrate on bettering you right now, okay? And that's the message that I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this message was helpful. And don't forget to like, comment, and share with your family and friends. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, okay? All right, my loves. Ciao for now.